I think the fan is really audible. So I'm gonna turn it off just for the sake of this video. You know, KSI doesn't hear the same anymore. You know, I, I grew up watching KSI's videos with his brother. But um, his recent antics are often fucking weird. That's the best way I can describe it. His anime like speech, which I could not bother to watch. I watched a few seconds of it against Tommy Fury and it was just so fucking cringe. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy on? Is this guy is this a clone? Is this not one of the other celebrity clones that we see all the time? Oh yeah, they cloned him. And then like, you know, when a celebrity acts out of place, not like their usual self, you know, as humans do. Oh my god, he's a clone! Uh, is, is that what happened to KSI this time around? Like, it's, it's just often unbearable to look at him with his, uh, I can see John Cena quote with the, in the press conference of, um, effectively, Dylan Dennis versus Logan Paul at this point. Uh, it's, it's just weird, like, I'm, I'm not sure what to think of him. Uh, his antics with, like, you know, roasting Jake Paul while being best buddies with his brother, Logan Paul. Like, what? You guys just, you, you just hated each other just a few months ago. <laughs> what the fuck? It, like, it's, it's almost as if he's selling out. Anyone else? He's, he's selling out just for the sake of, you know, money. With a uh, prime energy drink, a billion dollars. And he doesn't need to do it. I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure he's just um, saying himself on retirement when the money is no longer coming in like it is previously. Um, I seen his recent video. He uploaded. It's been a while. Two weeks not upload. Still two million views. So uh, he still has a shit ton of views. That's very very good for him. I'm not sure what to think and say. I don't know. Maybe. It's just, it's just, it's the weird situation to me, like, I grew up watching this guy and, you know, um, you know that meme, you grow up, um, no, what was it, pulling the will to unsubscribe from a YouTuber, you've, you've seen, you've grown up, you've seen become unbearable or some shit, that's what's happening with KSI, especially signing with Logan Paul of all people, which I used to love, look up to and subscribe to his antics as well, back when it was actually kind of funny, I was an impressionable child. Um, I remember being, I have a cringe video floating out somewhere on the internet and I, mean, I think my deaf, my friends definitely have it so if I have it I'll try to add it into this video if I turn this video into a short at least so you guys can see my cringe antics saying like my literal 10, 12 year old self 6 years ago by the way saying yo what's up no gang in my, my really squeaky voice because I was a part of that, I subscribed to that whole shit like you grow up and you realize that's actually the most fucked up shit ever. Like it's just two brothers at each other's throats, being hyper competitive. Like what's going on? Especially with Logan Paul, you know, sleeping with his brother's girlfriend. Like what is going on, mate? This is the guy I looked up to, and now he's just hyper selling. Jesus, get the fuck out of the room, fly! He's hyper selling his drink prime. With his arch nemesis that he wants to beat up uh, deep down. Like, what? He's a complete sellout. And kids are like, oh, yeah, Prime, buy Prime, buy my drink. And it's just all like, it's all bullshit to me. I don't, I know that, I don't understand that. I don't think these guys will be around for too much longer. Um, very weird. Very weird to me. I do wish them well though. I do wish Logan Paul success with his business. I do wish he gets out of his perilous relationship with his whore. I'm not gonna call her a whore. That's an insult to whores. It's devious. Devious. Partner. Jesus Christ. And. I wish KSI will as well. It's good that um, a lot of their brotherly. Family relationships are, are fixed. I think this comes with growing up in a weird way. This comes with growing up and moving on. Just the ability to just say, yeah, you don't resonate with this guy anymore. It's kind of childish what they're doing. It happens. I, I, yeah. Yeah. 
again a bit. Something I wanted to add as well is that you realize most of these guys are just mindless entertainment. And especially if you're in self improvement or any of these um, self help habits, self help, uh, or in the self help space in general, you often realize that a lot of these mindless YouTubers, entertainment YouTubers, are incredibly unhelpful towards your progress and they don't give a fuck about you. They just, want you, they just want you to buy their new energy drink. They want you to buy their new product, a new service, a new streamlined thing. It's like um, a bit like Iman Gaji. You know, I really like Iman Gaji. I think he's a phenomenal entrepreneur, phenomenal um, salesman. He's a phenomenal outspoken individual. But most of his videos these days have kind of gone away from his true self, almost. His more genuine, relatable, likable self. To say the least, and more so, his new videos are like, buy my course, it's really good, guys. And Hamza's going there as well, but at least Hamza gives some, like, you know, level of value, at least. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I don't hate individuals that want to sell their course, but it does become fucking annoying after a while. Like, come on, we we know, we know, Adonis School, um, what was the what was the, um, agency navigator. Like uh, KSI is prime, and I don't think Hamza is in a place place specifically to criticize KSI. I'm pretty sure he used to like um he criticized KSI and like threw some shade at KSI, saying oh, all these bullshit YouTubers, you know KSI, for example, mindless entertainment. While he also is a mindless entertainment YouTuber. Am I gonna spit? Am I, am I gonna cook by myself? Am I gonna spit facts by myself? Come on, guys, think about it. <laughs> think about it. Hamza with his hyper edited videos, and he admits this. Oh, but because he admits it's okay. Oh, yeah, it is okay. But does this mean that his content is not hyper stimulant? His content is not hyper entertainment. How is um, a video of Hamza's. Uh, Hamza's video of like Adonis, Jeffrey, one of them videos. I watched one of them, bro. How is that different to speed, for example, or KSI? It's not different at all. It's all minus entertainment. And then it goes under the guise of, I want young men to be in self improvement. When the reality is, a lot of these young men who try to put in self improvement do not stick to self improvement because it's not in their nature to stick to self improvement because they are weak men. A lot of the guys that I used to you know, chill with, that talk, uh, talk about Hamza, they talk about self improvement, talk about this, talk about that, most of them are falling off. That's the ugly side of suffering you don't see. Most of them have regressed. regressed. Most of them don't go to exercise. They don't go to training anymore. They don't, to, they don't go to the gym anymore. That's what I meant. They don't uh, rigorously, um, you know, do their self-help habits. Meditate, journaling, exercise reading. The four, you know, big tenets of um, some improvement habits. They don't do no fat, whatever it is. I think no fat bullshit anyway. They're not supposed to do it. You just go about life doing work. They don't do any of the self improvement shit. They just regress and go back to video games and stuff. Which I have as well, can't lie, I'll be the truth. And that's why I would think that Yeah, video games is a weird one because a lot of successful men do play video games. Not all the time, not semi regularly, sparsely, but you do play because at the end of the day, it's just like another thing you do. And it's weird to me. It's weird to me in general. You know, there's a lot of hypocrisy and a lot of lies in this space. You know, Hamza himself, he said, What did he say? Meditation, meditation, meditation. He preached it for, for months and he didn't do it himself. Okay, sure, fine, fine, whatever. I said no video games. And I played video games just like earlier, right now. Earlier, to, not today. Earlier yesterday, because it's like 2 a.m. in the morning. 3 a.m. in the morning. Which I want to make another video about saying it's not that good anyway, but that's another video. To me, it's like, what's going on here anymore? You know?
Oh, my YouTube pulled up here. I'm gonna pull this up for you guys to see. I right, my recommended. Got Zerg profile pick. I got my intelligence lists. Stuff to do. No big. Finished the big goals recently. I'm very happy with myself. I got a. This is a guy that I put together over eight years of lifting experience to get you aesthetic. You will literally become so aesthetic. Pause, dude. Got the full money experience. Commute. I'm three hours and 47 minutes into this. Iman Ghazi losing his hold on the internet. He's trying to sell his course and it sucks a lot. My recommended. It's it's all like it's all bullshit. Like even a video like this, fat, fat, bullshit. Everyone's seen it. They're just trying to get views. Like they don't care. Um, a video like this, case I must Logan Paul. When case I Logan Paul, like trying to remind everyone, you know, because it'll get views again. I'm pretty sure it's probably got like another million views since um it came back into the recommended scene. Probably because these guys hate each other. Entertainment, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Uh, I'm not sure how to think about this and go about this. What can I tell you? What the fuck are you supposed to do? <laughs> you know, Hamza's making bullshit video, not bullshit videos. Hamza's made bullshit videos. You don't make it anymore, but. To say he hasn't is a lie. What the fuck am I watching? This guy walked all the way from Mondstadt to Fontaine. And he spit it up and everything in a video. I actually haven't gone this far in Genshin yet. Um, I kinda don't want to. I don't care. This is Fontaine. Is that a furry girl? This is a pretty goaded path. Right here. Oh, what's crack? It's too much, man. Court of Fontaine. Why have they added so much content since I've been gone, bro? Um. What even is Fontaine, bro? I need, I need to like read the lore and shit. I can't be asked. What the fuck? It's a little anime fucking game. What the fuck? Um, that video caught my eye. That's why I, I couldn't record, keep recording the video. Kind of dumb to think about. <laughs> Shut up! Now listen, this was a good video. Good video, I can't lie. I'm not gonna watch it. Fuck that shit, man. Um. KSI, oh yeah, KSI, yeah, KSI is bullshit. What YouTuber isn't bullshit? What? I came to a shocking conclusion, man. Damn.
Well, YouTube isn't bullshit. I always do this in my videos. I'm gonna flex a little for the camera. What, what, what YouTube isn't like? Because all, all, all what YouTubers want is like high retention for advertisements and money and ad revenue, right? You want know the source of high retention? You're dumbass watching the entire video. You know what that means? It means that like you get addicted to the videos and he makes money. There's nothing I can do about this, by the way. Just don't watch videos, YouTube videos, lol. But oh, come on. Everyone watches YouTube videos. I watch YouTube videos to cook, make brownies, I watch a YouTube video. This is an unfair statement to proclaim. However, seemingly so obvious, it's unfair. So what the fuck? What, what's the what's the, what's the solution? How do you fix it? What's going on here? I don't know. I haven't watched KSI's content in a while. I haven't watched Logan Paul in a while. I actually genuinely forgot about Logan Paul until um, the drama was disgusting wife came out um i wish a local pool well i looked up to him in the past it's sad to see the mighty fall but he wasn't that good of a person in the first place it's also whatever it's a weird situation it's a weird situation though i hope to see the fight dylan's probably gonna get knocked out i saw his spine footage what the fuck did it land you had like years plus. Of course, you had a hip surgery, your knee surgery. I wish you the best of the recovery, but holy fuck, dude. Years plus, and how you box like that, bro? What is that? I'm a welterweight. And you fly me out to your things, the United States, in the boxer gym. I'll whoop you for six rounds straight, lad. What the fuck is that, bro? What, 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 what is it? It's hard to look. It's hard to watch, man. You guys want to watch it? I'm getting a copyright by him. <laughs> uh, this video per chance goes viral when it copyright him. It's it's, it's a dumb situation. Um, I can't help but admit that. I don't know what's going on there, man. How do you even begin to approach this? Like, I started insulting the big YouTubers, KSI, Logan Paul, Hamza, even once improvement, I thought I was improvement, and then what? Hey, KSI is bad, guys, don't watch, don't forget to watch, you know, don't forget to stop watching KSI and Hamza, and oh yeah, like and subscribe and watch my entire video. Like, what, what, what do I go there? <laughs> Where do I go there? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's dumb, bro. Though. I'm actually straight waffling here. These guys built my childhood. No, I dislike them all. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.